Hello, I'm Carolyn Herbert from the Finance News Network and joining me from the Antari Small Companies Fund is Portfolio Manager Paul Dewar. Paul, welcome to FNN. Thank you for having me. Now, can you start by giving us an introduction to the fund for investors who aren't familiar and what are its objectives? So the fund invests outside the ASX 100. It invests in both resources and industrial stocks. Um, the objective of the fund is to outperform the Small Ordinaries Index. We undertake bottom-up fundamental stock analysis. Uh, it's style neutral and appropriate for investors seeking a higher return but willing to accept a commensurately higher risk profile. So Paul, how have small caps performed this year and are there any standout performers? The index has returned um, around 14.5% for the year to 30 June. Uh, that compares to the ASX 200 of around 0.6%. Uh, small resource stocks have done very well, um, returning almost 21%. Um, small industrials around 13% annualised return. As far as standout performers, um, there's been a few. APN Outdoor, Aconex and IDP Education are three names the fund zone that have done very well. Uh, APN Outdoor has benefited from multiple earnings upgrades uh, stemming from the structural shift of traditional media spend away from mediums like free-to-air TV to outdoor and that's been the attractiveness of that has been driven by digitisation of outdoor advertising boards and that's been more attractive for advertisers. Aconex provides software that enables all the project stakeholders on major global construction projects to collaborate effectively together to, to deliver uh, solutions for the asset owners and IDP is a, is a business that's been driven by the desire for people to work, live and study in English speaking countries. And turning to performance now, where has the fund made gains over the past quarter and what's the performance been like over the past 12 months? So over the past 12 months the fund has outperformed the benchmark by a little over 1%. During the quarter um, some of the resource stocks have done quite well, particularly a couple of the gold names, uh, Evolution and, and Northern Star. Um, but there's also been some good industrial performers um, in amongst that, one of them being NextDC, which is a data centre operator, and that's continued to uh, grow its earnings by filling up its existing facilities and giving investors confidence that the, the return on capital that they're expecting will come through. And finally, Paul, in the current low growth, low rate environment, what's your outlook for the remainder of the year? Well, we think low rates are likely to persist and in Australia, they're, they're likely to go lower. Um, the US Fed is, is more on a, a, a watching brief there to continue a, a very modestly paced uh, rate tightening cycle. In that environment of, of low rates and, and therefore low growth, we think the market will continue to pay a premium for growth. So anything interest rate sensitive, uh, high PE or long duration is likely to continue to be well bid. But we are looking for opportunities to rotate some of the portfolio out of defensive expensives into, into some cyclical names. So we've seen some very early stage stabilisation in some of the mining services related names. We think it's a little early to go into those just yet but we're, we're on the lookout for opportunities. As far as thematics, um, we've, we've played a number of those over the quarter and the year. Most of those we think have played out. Uh, domestic tourism has been stronger with the decline in the Australian dollar. Um, obviously the structural issues we talked about earlier in media um, that we've played through APN Outdoor and, and O Media. Uh, we've traded a number of retail names which are uh, exposed to consumer confidence and they've, they've held up reasonably well. And then there's the housing exposed names which we're a little cautious about. We're quite late in the game um, with that. So no real strong thematics, um, but you know, we, are, we are looking for opportunities to, to rotate out of some of, the, um, some of the, the names that have done very well into some of those that are in a recovery phase. Paul Dewar, thanks for the update on the Antari Small Companies Fund. Thank you.